everyone, welcome to the Power Play with CJ. I'm going to focus in on the Carolina Hurricanes, giving Thibaut Teravine in a two-year extension worth an average of $2.86 million a year to keep him in Carolina uh, through, at minimum, the 2019 season. Uh, I like this deal. They obviously acquired Teravine from the Blackhawks um, in well, last June, but a year ago today, I believe. Let's pull that up this to be double... Yeah, June 16, 2016, so happy one-year anniversary, Tavo. Obviously, the Blackhawks needed to dump off Brian Bickle's contract, and, uh, you know, it was one of those situations. Carolina took advantage of that. They got a pretty good player in return. And, you know, I'm still waiting for Teravine to really, really break out offensively because if you looked at what he did in Finland going into his draft year, you know, you're like, holy shit, this guy can play. I mean, I, th I think he's a very good player. Uh, he's a young player. He's only 22. Um, you know, if he was a college hockey player, he'd still be at uh, probably at BU right now. Um but, you know, you got to look at, you know, the steps and the progress he's made. And, you know, if he does be taking that next step and be that, you know, 60-point guy uh, for a Carolina team that's starving for offense, I think, you know, it's just, it has potential to be a really, really, really good contract. I mean, I, Carolina's offensive attack, I think, is on – despite the fact that the team's wrong defensively, I mean, they've got some really talented offensive players. I mean, we saw what Sebastian Ajo did. I mean, Jeff Skinner, 37 goals last year. Victor Rask is really good. I think Elias Lindholm will take another step forward next year. And I think Tara Vinen will have a, a good run himself. So, you know, Carolina is going to be active in the uh, trade market and the free agency market this year. And, uh, you know, could potentially get themselves another, you know, piece to help alleviate their offensive woes. Um, but... I think having Teravine in the fold for the next two years is a beneficial move that will really work wonders for them. You know, again, they, they were able to take advantage of Chicago having salary cap problems like a lot of other teams have had. You know, look at no different than the Atlanta Thrashers such Winnipeg Jets franchise getting, you know, Dustin Bufflin and, you know, for a while they had had because the Blackhawks can afford them. So, you know, the, the Hawks, the beautiful, the, the drawback of having such so many good players is you got to pay them, and there's a finite amount, and Carolina, Ronnie Francis said, boom, give me Tebow. And I think this deal is a fair deal for both sides, and I think he is going to continue to develop to be a pretty good offensive player for the, the team down in Raleigh. Anyway, that's all I got this episode of the Power Play with CJ. Stay tuned for more episodes for the season and beyond. Later, guys.